Hey guys, John here. This is going to be a really short video today. We're going to be going over uh, logic operators. And basically logic operators are what gives your programs logic. So for instance, um, if I wanted to compare two numbers, like if A is greater than B, then do something. I need a logic operator, which is the greater than sign, and vice versa, less than. We have compare. Um, <clears throat> I believe I have here all the operators, if you guys, hopefully you guys can see my screen. Um, <clears throat> but we have all the operators that we can use. And there are quite a bit. And um, we're going to cover today just the basic ones. But basically, you have your typical arithmetic. So for instance, we'll have here, um, say we had two variables, a and b, OK? So we have public int a, public int b. Now, if I wanted to check if a is greater than b, how do I do that? Well, we need to use our logical operator. If a is greater than b, then we could say debug.log a is greater than b. Now, using the same example, I could also say if they're equal to each other, if it's greater than or equal to by just adding an equal to. I can check if they equal each other. If I could, I could check if A equals B by doing two equal signs. All right, the two equal signs stands for compare. So I'm comparing those two values. Do they equal each other? Um, one equal sign is for a sign. You don't, anytime you're in an if statement, use two equal signs. Uh, I can check if it's less than. I can check if it's less than or equal to. I can check if A does not equal B by using an exclamation point and an equal sign. I can even check the value of this. I could check to see if A plus B equals 12. If A plus B equals 12, or if A minus B equals 12. All right, I can say debug.log, whatever. So you have all your arithmetic operations. You can also say if A multiplied by B or A divided by B. So you have a ton of operators that can help you with your projects. Um, I'd get to know them. Uh, if you're not familiar with PEMDAS, uh, which is the basic, basic arithmetic on how stuff works, <laughs> uh, it's the order of operations. So things are calculated in that order. So for instance, if I needed to calculate the average of A, B, and say we had here C, how would I do that? I would calculate it by saying uh, I would have a variable to hold the average. Right? So I would go ahead and say average equals A plus B plus C and then divide by 3. Now, the problem with doing this, okay, the problem with doing this is that basic arithmetic says division before addition. So what's going to happen is C divides by 3 and then A and B get calculated. That's not how you calculate the average. You add them up and then divide by 3. So what you can do is you can put it in parentheses, and whatever's in parentheses will get calculated first. Then, once that's finished calculating, it will divide by 3. And that will give you the average. All right, so that's just a little heads up on um, basic operators. Hope you learned something. Hopefully not too much, but <laughs> uh, I'll post in the description a link to the MSDN where you can view all the operators and how they can help you in your projects. Uh, let me know what you guys do with this, and feel free to, um, yeah, make sure you guys are following me on Facebook and Twitter. DigitalGamingInstitute.com has the links. Links in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next video for Switch Statements.